Peace and Black Power family. This is your brother Sutek Amin Ra. And I um, want to talk to you today because I feel we are seriously missing the mark in regards to Black economic empowerment. <clears throat> I recently did a, a, a presentation with my brothers for the 100th year anniversary of um, Marcus Garvey. And in that, in that presentation, I ran out of time. I was talking so much, I ran out of time. And I was basically concentrating on our mentality in regards to economic empowerment for black people. And um, I didn't get a chance to talk um, about solutions and, and why I feel we're missing the mark. We, first, first off, you have to acknowledge that we are at war. Mentally, physically, spiritually, we are at war. Well, to, to, to quote Francis Cross Welsing, we are not at war, we're being warred upon because we're not fighting back. If we were fighting back, then we would be considered at war. But if somebody's just beating up on you, then you're not war, you're not at war, you're just being warred upon. And you have to acknowledge, we have to acknowledge that we are being warred upon. And then once we acknowledge that we are being warred upon, then you'll be able to understand why I say that the, 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 the platforms, the people that are out here promoting black economic empowerment are way off the mark. They are not even close to us achieving black economic empowerment because what they're doing is they're teaching you and promoting peacetime economics we have to practice wartime economics and the reason they're teaching you peacetime economics is because that's all they know they're teaching you what they learned in school they're, they're teaching you economic principles and theory that they learned in school, but the economic principles and theories that they learned in school does not address your situation. So therefore, it's been 200 years since the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm not giving you the exact number, but I'm saying 200 years. And we're still in the same situation that we were the day after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Same situation. And other ethnic groups are coming into this country and zooming by us economically. And unless we can compete economically in a capitalist system, we will forever be on the bottom and be at the mercy of every other economic group in this country. I'm gonna rewind that. I'm not gonna say it again. Uh, it's taken me a long time to, to come to put the video together. Because number one, I don't like doing videos. I don't like doing videos. But number two, this type of conversation, more times than not, if you ain't selling some spooky shit, if you ain't selling some get rich quick shit, then people don't listen to you. And ain't nothing spooky about economics and there's no get rich quick formula that's gonna help us in our struggle. It's just not. So this type of thing falls on, on deaf ears because most of us don't wanna put in the hard work. Most of us don't wanna do three things, commit, 
sacrifice, and be held accountable. Those are the three things that we need to do. Those are the three things that we need to instill in our youth and in each other. Sacrifice, commitment, and accountability. That's what it's gonna take. The strategy isn't rocket science, okay? The strategy is not rocket science. It's revolutionary, but it's not rocket science. When you understand economics, when you understand economic theory enough to be able to modify it so that it fits your struggle, these cats out here, they, they giving you economics, but it's not modified to fit your struggle. What they're doing is they're putting you right back into the fire. Understand this. In a capitalist economic system, your money is your power. That's your power. And if I take my money, my power, and I invest it with my competition's money, with my competition's power, what am I doing? I'm giving them control of my power. <laughs> How much sense does that make? And I'm saying it like this because I think these people mean well, but then sometimes I think they just on some get rich quick, get your money and go type of shit. Because all of them are selling you a service. They're selling you a service where they get paid and then you go with it. And I don't even know how many people are, are taking what they learned from these people and applying it. But whatever they're selling you is not a formula for black economic empowerment. I understand what I'm saying. Black economic empowerment is a racial concept. It's not an individual concept. We have to empower the race. You can't empower the individual. You're only as strong as your weakest link. So if you're an individual with money, then that's all you are is an individual with money. It's not, you're not economically empowered because your power is controlled by somebody else. When you empower, if I empower you, then you have the power. You're not taking your money and investing it with your competition. That's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Now, am I saying, no, don't invest in the stock market. No, don't do this. Don't. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, don't. That's not your strategy for empowerment, for the race. That's an individual thing. Now, if you just want to go and look out for yourself, then yeah, do that. Do that. But then don't stand with the red, black, and green. Don't come up here and raise your fist, black power, because that's not black power. That's me looking out for myself. That's all that is. And we do enough of that. We do enough of that. Me and some other brothers that I work with have a company called Comedic Science of Prosperity. And we've been at it for a while. We have been at it for a while. And I feel that it's not getting the, the push that it should because we like spooky shit. We, 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 we need something spooky that we know is not gonna work. You, you know the spooky shit these cats is talking about is not gonna work. But you'd rather put your faith in that because it, it requires you to do less work. It requires less of you. The spooky shit requires less of you. I'm telling you, what we're doing is gonna require three things sacrifice, commitment, and accountability. You're not donating, you're investing. All right? So, and this is wartime economic theory. When you understand economic theory, then you can modify it 
to suit your struggle. These cats who's out here with these economic platforms, they don't understand economic theory to the point where they can take it and modify it to fit our struggle. They're telling you peacetime economics as if everything is good. They're teaching you, they're telling you what they learned in school. And what they learned in school doesn't take into consideration white supremacy, prejudice, um, red line banking, uh, a minority in a capitalist economic system. It don't, they don't teach you how to uplift the minority in, an, in a capitalist economic system. They don't teach you that. But you have to understand the theory. You have to understand how it works in order to take it and modify it, jerry-rig it, so it fits your situation. And that's what we did here. We took the principles, we took the teachings of Marcus Garvey, we took the teachings of Amos Wilson, we took the teachings of Elijah Muhammad. We took economic theory and combined them. And this is what we have. And I'm a, and I'm gonna get into it, but I don't want I don't want to waste my time talking to people who don't want to hear it. So what I'm asking you is go to my website, KSP the number four ever dot com, and sign up. Sign up. Put your email address in there and sign up. And when I do the presentation of our wartime economic strategy, you'll get the link. Because I just want to I just want to talk to people. People who are about black economic empowerment, we need to separate from those who, who aren't. All right. So, and, and I'm looking for 5,000 people. I'm looking for 5,000 people to come sign up. That's what I'm looking for. It's called 5,000 Conscious Millionaires, 5KMIC. That's what you'll be signing up for. And this is wartime economic strategy. Because these cats right now, they are way out in left field with what they're teaching. Cats want you to invest in the stock market. That's giving your power to somebody else. People are telling you to invest in gold. They're telling you, yeah, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. They, what, they, what they're saying is buy gold jewelry. They're showing you gold jewelry, telling you to buy gold jewelry so that when the market collapses and everything, the gold is gonna hold its value and gold prices fluctuate up and down. If, if money loses its value and you got a gold chain and you need milk or meat or gas or whatever, how are you gonna convert that gold chain into a barter system to get your milk, your, your, your meat, your, your gas or whatever it is you need? And if I, if I buy a gold chain for a thousand dollars, it's only got but two hundred dollars worth of gold in it. What makes gold jewelry cost so much is the workmanship that goes into it. You're only going to get the penny weight of the gold. So, I mean, I, I could show you a, a, a three thousand dollar gold necklace and medallion. But the value of that gold necklace and medallion isn't what I paid for it. It's the penny weight value. That's it. Don't nobody care about all the workmanship that went into that jewelry? So, you know, as we see, the world is changing. After this COVID thing, it may go back to resemble normal, but it's gonna go, it's not gonna be normal. And there's a lot of opportunity. There's gonna be a lot of opportunity. 
and the people that are ready to take advantage of that opportunity, those are going to be the ones who prosper. And with the, with the wartime economic theory that we're putting together, is designed to put us in a position so that we can prosper in the new world that's coming. Come sign up. KSP4, the number four ever.com. Sign up and you will get the information when the presentation is coming. And in this way, I'll know I'm speaking to people who are of like mind and the people who aren't, you know, they, they just not. And I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. But if we don't make preparations now for the future, we're going to be in, we're, listen, we're already in bad shape. <clears throat> you think it can't get worse. But trust me, it can get a lot, lot worse. And the way we have things set up, not only is it going to give us economic power and security, it's going to give us political power and security also. So get with your brother. These other cats is, is, is selling dreams. They're taking your money and they're selling you dreams. And uh, <coughs> we're going to be ready for the, for the, for the 2021, 2022 and beyond. We don't have a lot of time. Dr. Claude Anderson was predicting that as of 2012, we would have been in bad shape. 20, he said, he said our time was up in 2012 and he was close to the mark. Trust me. He was close to the mark. And if we don't do something and do something now, put programs in place now, set up institutions and organizations now, organize now. You already know they're trying to wipe you out, Black people. You already know that. We need to do something about this. And I'm telling you, these cats with these economic programs and platforms are leading you nowhere. And the proof is in the pudding. www.ksp, the number four, ever.com. Sign up and get ready to lock in. We're getting ready to do this. Peace and black power.